Welcome back to the channel. Today's video will look at the cast of Van Dango and how they have changed over the years. We will also be sharing some exciting facts you probably have never heard of. Let's check it out. Fandango is a 1985 American comedy film directed by Kevin Reynolds. It was a parody of Greek life, but he didn't want to portray the Baptist institution negatively because his father was the president at Baylor. He gave it another name, the University of Texas. The film is now a cult classic. Steven Spielberg saw this film and helped fund the 1971 feature comedy drama about five Texas college students. They made his last road trip together in 1971 to celebrate the privilege of youth while facing graduation, Vietnam War. Here are some interesting facts about the work of art. Did you know that Kevin Costner auditioned for and lost a part in the student film on which Fandango is based, the same role he later played in the feature film? Actor Chuck Bush, Dorman, the large, mild-mannered schoolmate, was discovered in a 7-Eleven convenience store. He had no prior experience or connection with the movie industry before being seen and asked to read for the part. Dorman manages to get quite a bit of reading done throughout the film. He is seen reading Stephen Wolfe by Herman Hesse, Being a Nothingness by John Paul Sartre, The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, and The Incredible Hulk No. 128. Actress Susie Amis was billed as the girl in the credits, but her character's name was Debbie. Actors Judd Nelson and Sam Roberts both say her name in the film. The network FX has an animated series called Archer. In 2013, season 4 of Archer features an episode titled Coyote Lovely. In this episode, the character Archer lies next to a boulder holding a rifle. He uses his knife to carve the word Dom into the rock surface. The rock Estonia hillside and the image is identical to Dom Rock and Fandango. The first of three directorial and starring collaborations between Kevin Reynolds and Kevin Cosner, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves 1991, and Waterworld 1995 followed. So as this film was released in 1985, Reynolds and Cosner worked together for over 10 years. They would later work together again on the miniseries Hatfields and McCoys in 2012. Marvin J. McIntyre reprises his role as Truman Sparks, the same position he played in Proof 1980, the short film on which this movie was based. When the Groovers gang are outside the ruins of Chata Ortega's, just as Gardner finishes his monologue, a flock of birds flies across the frame. Director Kevin Reynolds said in an interview that people often ask him how many takes it took to get the birds to pass fly up at just the right moment. In reality, it was a happy coincidence. The birds just happened to take off at that moment. This was the debut cinema movie of actress Susie Amis. Ultimately, Steven Spielberg was so disappointed with this film that he took his name off it when it was released. Actor Marvin J. McIntyre received an introducing credit. Dorman is reading the comic book The Incredible Hulk, number 128, June 1970. This was also the debut theatrical feature film directed by Kevin Reynolds. The birth date on the soldier's grave is writer-director Kevin Reynolds' birth date. Stunt pilot Randy DeLuca nicknamed Truman's airplane Picasso because of its multicolored paint job. Chata Ortega's bar and grill is a small old abandoned building located right out of town west of Picos, Texas on the I-20. The name of the guys' gang was The Groovers. Composer Alan Silvestri also worked with Kevin Costner on The Bodyguard 1992. According to the Wikipedia website, the movie was Kevin Costner's first starring role, although an earlier film where he had been the lead actor. But The Gunrunner 1989 had wrapped in 1983 but was not released until 1989. Cinematographer Thomas Del Ruth also worked with Judd Nelson on The Breakfast Club and Marvin J. McIntyre on The Running Man. In his book Adventures of a No-Name Actor, actor Marco Perellia says he filmed scenes for a dream in which he played a clown or jester character, but they edited out his scenes. First cinema movie collaboration of actor-producer Kevin Costner and writer-director Kevin Reynolds. This motion picture's opening title card read, Austin, Texas, May 15, 1971. Their names are never said in the film, but according to the script, the mechanic's name is Robert Avila, 
and the rancher that orders the three chili dogs and malt is named Floyd. It is the only Kevin Reynolds film starring Kevin Cosner where there isn't a villain. Alan Rickman played a villain, the Sheriff of Nottingham in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and Dennis Hopper played a villain, the Deacon in Waterworld. And that's all we have for today. We hope that you liked our video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.